Hi everyone, I am C. Kalaiwani, Assistant Professor, Department of Geology, Bharatiya Arts and Science College for Women's, Devya Kurchi. Now we see about the morphology of Paramecium chordatum. Now we discuss about morphology of Paramecium chordatum. Paramecium coming under the phylum Protozoans. Before going to my class, I will explain some of the general characters about Paramecium chordatum and phylum Protozoans. First of all, Protozoans are simple, primitive and microscopic and minute organism and also acellular or unicellular organism. A cellular or unicellular is nothing but the body contain a single cell. There are two type of organisms are present. First one A cellular or unicellular and multicellular organism. The best example for A cellular or unicellular organisms are protozoans organisms. Second one it is microscopic and minute organism. We can't see in naked eye. We can observe only under the microscope. Next one, they are free living and some are parasitic. Free living forms are majorly present in fresh water. They can live in freely. Some are parasitic. Parasitic is nothing but any disease causing organism. It causes uh, disease in plants and animals or whatever it may be. They, it is two types. First one, ectoparasite. Second one, endoparasite. Ectoparasite present in outside of the body and endoparasite present in inside of the body. Okay. It causes some disease and some of beneficial also. For best example for ectoparasite in humans are present on lice on our heads and scalp region. Next one the endoparasite. Endoparasite some of harmful and some of beneficial in humans. Our colon regions contain E. coli or Exercia coli bacteria. This is beneficial bacteria. It destroys the harmful bacteria, but it one of the parasite. Next, the body is asymmetrical or bilateral symmetrical or radially symmetrical. The organ systems are not well developed because they contain a single cell only. The organization is protoplasmic grade of organization. Next one, locomotion. Locomotion is nothing but the movement of organism one place to another place. In protozoans, the major locomotory organs are cilia, flagella and pseudopodia. Cilia present in paramecium and flagella present in euglena and pseudopodia present in amoeba. Pseudopodia is nothing but pseudo means false and podia means legs. It present in amoeba. The amoeba when it move to one place to another place that time only the pseudopodia come out then after the locomotion they can they disappear. Nutrition. It can feed on diatoms and phytoplanktons, zooplanktons also. They are holophytic or holozoic, saprospytic, some are parasitic in nutrition. The digestion carried by intracellular digestion. Next one, respiration and excretion done by contractile vacuoles. These are the some of the general characters of phylum protozoans. Now we discuss the major content, the morphology of paramecium chordatum. First, I start with the systematic position of paramecium chordatum. First one, kingdom, kingdom protista, phylum protozoans, and class ciliata. Order Holotrica, genus Paramecium and species Chordatum. First, why they include in the phylum protozoans? Because they are single cell, microscopic and minute organism. So, it is included in the phylum protozoan. Second one, class. Class ciliata or ciliophora. The body is covered by a hair like structure is called as cilia. It is the locomotory organ. So, it is included in the class ciliata. Second, third one, order. 
order holotreka. The cilia are arranged in longitudinal rows and throughout the body distributed in evenly. So, this type of manner is called as holotrichosis. So, it is including in the order holotrichia. Next one genus Parmesium and species Caudatum. The genus is always start with the capital letter and the species name always start with the small letter. This is the systematic position of Paramecium caudatum. Next one, habitat, where it is found. I already told you there are freshwater farms. So, it mainly found in freshwater farms like ponds, pools, rivers, ditches also. Next one, size. It is microscopic and minute. So, it is 0.17 millimeter to 0.24 millimeter in size. Next one, shape. This organism look like a slipper. So, it is slipper animal. Next one, the major parts. The body has four regions. First one, anterior end. Second one, posterior end. Then, dorsal side and ventral side. The anterior end is blunt and the posterior end is pointed. The dorsal side is convex and the ventral region is flattened. First of all, the body is fully covered by a thin elastic membrane is called as pellicle. This pellicle give a structure and protection of the organism. Second one, cilia. The pellicle bears a numerous hair like structure. This is called as cilia. Next one, the cytoplasm. The body is fully covered by or filled by a colloidal substance. It is called as cytoplasm. The cytoplasm contain food vacuole, contractile vacuole and nucleus and trichocyst and basal granules also. Okay, let us see one by one. First, the cilia. The cilia is numerous hair like structure. The major function of the cilia is locomotion and food capturing because they do not have any locomotory organs, specialized locomotory organs. This is the locomotory organs. Second one, cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a colloidal substance. They have two regions. First one is ectoplasm and second one is endoplasm. This ectoplasm present in just behind the pellicle. It is a thick, dense fluid substance. They contain basal granules and trichocyst also. Second one, endoplasm. Endoplasm present in the center region of the cytoplasm. These endoplasm contain contractive vacuoles, food vacuoles, oral apparatus. The ventral side of the body contain a growth. It is called as oral growth. This oral growth leads into a funnel like structure. This funnel like structure is called as vestibules. These vestibules leads into buccal cavity. This buccal cavity open into a narrow funnel like structure is called as cytophage. This cytophage open into the cytoplasm when the food vacuole is formed. Okay, clear? Next one, nucleus. There are two type of nucleus is present. First one is large size macronucleus and small size micronucleus. It is kidney shape or bean shaped. The major function of the nu nucleus is the micronucleus involved in reproductive function and the macronucleus involved in vegetative function. The micronucleus always embedded into the macronucleus. Next one, contractive vacuoles. The each end, the anterior end and the posterior end, there are two contractive vacuoles are present. They exhibit systole and diastolic forms. 
systole means nothing but the contraction diastole means nothing but the relaxation it exhibit these two forms the major function of the contractive vacuoles involved in osmoregulation and excretion process first one what is osmoregulation osmoregulation is nothing but to maintain the body temperature i already explained it is fresh water form so it majorly needed to maintain their body temperature so the contractive vacuoles involved to maintain their body temperature next one excretion excretion is nothing but to removal of waste product it always present in fresh water so the excrete major excretory product is ammonia ammonia is uh, excreted by through the contractive vacuoles next one trichosis the trichosis present on the just beneath the pellicle the major function of the trichosis is offense and defense mechanism this is the short notes about paramecium caudatum students i hope you understood this morphology of paramecium caudatum we will meet in next topic thank you